Hello, time for my next build. Uh, if you watched my last video, I made a keg washer out of a utility pump. Well, this video is kind of going to build on to that. Uh, what I plan on doing is making a bottle washer. I'm going to use the same utility pump. Um, I'm going to hook it up to an apparatus with a short length of garden hose. And hopefully it'll work pretty well to wash out the insides of my bottles. Um, never done this before. But I think it'll be a good experience to figure it out and see what I can come up with. Uh, I've seen some stuff online, had some ideas, um, got some ideas of my own. And I'm going to put them into play and see what happens. So follow along. In my last video, I created a uh, keg washer. And I used my quarter horsepower utility pump to do it. Uh, I want to use this for more than just keg washing and carboy washing. So now I'm going to create an apparatus that fits on the pump that I can use to do bottle washing. Now I'm going to create a grid system of pipes sticking up that are going to go inside the bottles and I'm going to pump soapy water and uh, rinse water through the inside of the bottles, let it run for a while and get them nice and clean. Uh, I'm going to design it so that it's going to be exactly the size of a case of beer bottles so that I can hopefully just flip it upside down in that case of beer bottles and have all the pipes go down in the beer bottles then just flip it over take the case off and start washing them. Um, I'm also going to make it because of that size so it's going to fit into my utility sink my laundry sink that's in my brewery so that I can wash everything with soapy water let the sink drain fill the sink back up with rinse water and rinse everything off with rinse once i jump in here i'm going to uh, move forward pretty quickly in the last video uh, for the keg washer i showed a whole bunch of me gluing stuff together uh, i may show a couple of these things at the beginning for people that didn't watch that other video but other than that i'm going to skip forward pretty quickly in this i hope so anyway follow along here are the pieces and uh to give you a little perspective uh there's a case of beer bottles behind there. And what this is going to be, the grid is going to be as long as that case of beer bottles is long and as wide as that case of beer bottles is wide. So it's going to hold four rows of six bottles. Now I'll get a little closer to the fittings here. And you can see there are going to be four rows. And there are going to be six beer bottles in each of those rows. Now I don't have it pushed out side to side all the way yet. Um, on this first row, it's going to have a T here that's going to come out to the fitting that I'll be connecting the hose up. And the hose is going to go on the other end to this, which is going to be up at the pump over there. Uh, so that's how it's going to work. Now, if you'll see, um, I've got these three-way connectors here. Now, on the bottom side, I'm going to have a leg sticking out maybe four or five inches so that... Uh, any water draining out of the bottom of the bottles drains back into the sink. If I didn't put the legs on and that sat on the bottom of the sink, I'm afraid that I wouldn't be able to circulate the water fast enough. So that's how it is. Uh, that's what I'm going to start gluing together. I haven't cut the pipes that go this direction yet. I'm going to get the ends in first, and then I'm going to hopefully put all four of those pipes in on one side and then I'll put the whole manifold on the other side in together. Then I'll be able to drill holes about every two and a half inches um, for the beer bottles to stick off of. You know, run it, coming out of each of those holes is going to be a thing that looks like this. And this is just a mock-up I did. Um, I tried to see if uh, the PVC glue would glue these in place and it actually does a fairly good job. What these are are pens from a 10-pack of dollar store ballpoint pens. Um, I've taken the pen out of the top, and if you can kind of see in there, I removed the plug from the back of it. So water's going to shoot up here and come out this tiny little hole there. If that doesn't shoot the water up fast enough and uh, enough volume, I'll just take that off, and uh, the water will come down the hole inside of it. Now, I checked, and I believe the inside of that is just a hair under uh, a quarter of an inch. The outside here is five sixteenths, so it's a hair over a quarter of an inch. Now, I think, yeah, see, I tried to use PVC glue on that. It didn't work.
But again, this is the underside and that's the top side. So I'm going to get to work. I'll stop back in a little bit. Designed this to fit into my laundry sink. Um, so that the pump will go over here. And the apparatus will be over here and it will sit inside my laundry sink. So that I can fill up the laundry sink with water. Uh, rinse it. Then drain the laundry sink. Fill it up with clear water. And then rinse it. And then let the bottles drain and I'm good to go. So... That's the idea. It'll also fit into a plastic tub, too. Um, either way will work. A lot of people do put them in plastic tubs. The only thing I have yet to figure out absolutely is how I'm going to keep the bottles from going back and forth on the pins. Because I really wanted to shoot the, shoot the uh, water to the center of the bottle so that it umbrellas over the sides. Uh, the idea I've got is to um, essentially take some half inch PVC and build a box around here, sat up about, I don't know, 10 inches tall, that I just set it down on top, on top of it and it sucks the bottles together and keeps them all upright. Um, I don't think this is gonna be a very difficult project to put together either. I have to measure the distances between all the fittings accurately um, so that they do line up with the bottles in the case. Uh, then I just got to glue it together. So, again, follow along. I am going to, on this video, show a couple times of putting the pipes together, but there are a whole lot of fittings. There's no reason for you to follow along for every single fitting. So, I'll show one or two just to give you the idea of how to put PVC together, and then I will continue on and come back when I'm finished. Okay, I'm going to start uh, putting things on now. Um, first thing I'm going to do is work my way across the bottom. Now I will go ahead and show you how I glue up the bottom part so um, you can get an idea how it works. Okay, I've got a, on the table here, I've got a board that I can do things on. First thing you do is you get some purple primer. Uh, put it on your fitting. Put on your pipe, a little more in the fitting, put it away, then you get some glue, this is PVC cement, same process, put a little on the fitting, put some on here, go back over the fitting, done. Now what I'm going to do is just push this in place, and I'm going to bottom it out. And that's in nice and solid. So there we have. Next thing I'm going to do is hook on a T. Now I'm going to bottom the T out as far as I can get it to. So same thing. Purple on the outside. Purple on the fitting. More on the fit this. More on the fitting. Okay, glue on the fitting, glue on the pipe, and more on the fitting. Okay, now I want to make sure that this is nice and level and faced in the right direction. So, well, it's not quite as deep as I wanted to get it, but that's close enough. The two end pieces are completed. Uh, they'll go together like this. And over, what I gotta do now is decide the distance of the uh, poles that connect them from one end to the other. So I'm gonna do that next, but I wanna show you. These are all glued up. See if I can get a little closer. Uh, But again, they're going to sit like this and they'll have pipes going across them. Well, got it done up to now. The grid is built. Now I got to put legs on it. 
And like I said, I'm going to make them, I don't know, four or five inches so it sits off the ground. Maybe not that tall, but enough to where it raises it up off the bottom. But you see, I've got the piece on the side here that I'll have put a hose fitting on. So I'll be able to screw the hose into there. And uh, it's going to be ready to use once I drill some holes and put the spikes in it, the pens. Anyway, next steps. It's all put together. Got the uh, legs on it, side on it. Now it's all just a matter of drilling holes. Now I've marked holes on the top here and uh, should be able to see the markings. Essentially, um, what I did is took shorty bottles and uh, measured the distance between them if they were nice and snug together. And the way it worked out was they were two and a half inches apart. So essentially I just have uh, two and a half inch squares of dots. Now I'm just going to uh, go over to the drill press here and start drilling some holes. First thing I'm going to do is double check to make sure I'm doing, doing the right holes. Yeah, that was great. Okay. So. All the holes drilled. Get a little closer. 24 holes. All finished with the build. Uh, you can see here's the finished product. I've got the pens all glued in place. Um, over to the left, you can see where I've got the hose fitting connected up and a short length of hose connecting to my utility pump. Um, each of the pens are glued into the 5 16 inch holes with some quick set epoxy. Uh, just your basic Harbor Freight quick set epoxy. Uh, they did fit pretty snugly, so uh, I took my time putting them in. Probably had to make three or four batches. You'll notice in the bottom of each of those pens, there's a little mark. Uh, I marked them about a quarter inch up, so I knew how uh, far in I should push them, what depth I needed. Uh, uh, just for the sake of showing, this is what I pulled out of the pens. All the... Uh, the ball points from the uh, 10 packs that I had. Uh, next up, testing and usage. Uh, we'll do a little bit of that. Okay, there it is. And over on the side here, I got the pump. And that... Cut a short length of hose, got the one and a half inch to three quarter inch threaded barb connector to five eighths inch interior inside, and then a five eighths inch hose thing. So short length of hose. Now this hose was not very flexible, so what I did is I heated it up with my heat gun and uh, set it up so that it's got a good angle here, and now that'll cool off. But I'm getting ready to, to, to try it out. So right now I'm going to just stick a bunch of bottles on it. Now, one thing I am concerned about is whether or not the bottles are going to stand up straight. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, like, for example, right there. And the bottle might be there. But if I put one next to it, it might make it go to the side. Which means that the spout is going up the side, not really in the top. I'm going to try and come up with something to keep these things upright more. Um, I'm not sure what that's going to be. Maybe something to go around the outside that will uh, keep them together. I don't know. Heck, maybe just a big rubber band. Who knows?
But anyway, I'm going to throw some bottles on here and see what I get. Well, here it is. Running away. Up in there. And let's see. Here's the one that was pretty dirty. And uh, it's not dirty anymore. I'm going to turn it off. Let's pull that bottle. And I'm pretty sure it was this one right here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good in there. Actually, here it is, right here. It is just after a minute. It's still got some stuff in it. But after a minute, it's not too bad. All right, well, I'm going to turn it on and let this thing run for 10 minutes. Seems to be working pretty darn good. Got another use for my keg washer. Now, I did, oh, well, better say this, throw in some dishwasher soap. In this case, uh, <laughs> it says it dissolves 24 hours stuck on food. I don't know, we'll see. But this is liquid dish soap, so um, we'll just let that run. It's got a little mini dishwasher here. Mm. All right, well, here it is. It's going pretty good. Take the water. Uh, water's going in and out of the bottle just fine. Let's see these. Definitely water spraying up. Uh, that real dirty bottle was still, I believe this one right here. Let's see. See if we can see inside it. Um, yeah. Well, it's still got a little bit of crud in it, but not much. So we're going to put it up here in the light. And yeah, see back in the corner there. But I've only been running this for a couple minutes. So. I did use dish soap on it. This Palmolive 24 hour stuck on. This is liquid. And I know, put a couple tablespoons in the water. So I'm gonna let it go. And uh, I got a new tool. That's pretty cool. Now if you look, even these uh, ones that are Tilted, the water runs up the side in the front and then drains in the back. So, what you might want to do, or what I might do, is like twist these 180 degrees. I don't know if that does any good, but it sure can't hurt. All right. Okay, well, I'm going to let it go. Well, another project done. Another video. Um, I am thinking of some modifications to this bottle wash already. Um, it's still running down there. Um, I'm wondering if there's a way I can wrap something around to keep the bottles more straight up and down. Um... Also trying to come up, maybe there's a way I can raise them up a little bit uh, and build some sort of a platform uh, to hold them upright. But I don't know. As it is, I'm going to see how it works now. All right, as I put bottles on here, I just happened to find one that is really gross inside. So I'm curious to see how it cleans up. All right. Try it one more time. 
I think I got all the clogs fixed. Well, I don't see any that aren't working, so now I think I'm going to stick some bottles on here. Uh, twice a day, right? Now, what is that like to put together every day? To sort of, uh, how do you do it twice a day? Well, I mean, we distill what's happening. Then... All right. Uh, before I put some bottles on it, I'm just going to do a uh, bottleless run and see what happens when I turn this pump on. I've got a few gallons of water in the sink. Let's see what's going on here. Overall, it looks like it's working pretty good, although I can see a few of the uh, things aren't working. I also see that uh, one or two of them have blown off. So, did work pretty good though. Looks like I lost one lid right back here. Notice this one appears clogged and actually I can see something in it. So I'm going to take that off. But uh, I'm going to work on it and we'll see what happens. All right, well, I've had people ask me what kind of soap to use, and uh, I'm really not sure since I just built this, but I'll tell you what I've tried already. Um, first thing I did is I tried this palm olive liquid, and it worked really well. Um, no suds, and it cleaned the bottles pretty good. Next thing I tried was some cheap dollar store uh detergent dishwasher soap that worked okay and then finally what I got going right now uh, and the dollar store's uh, dry soap did pretty much what the palm olive did I put a couple tablespoons in and it didn't suds up at all now what I got going now is dollar store oxyclean uh, and if you look it's really sudsy but it is getting stuff up in the bottles. So it's definitely cleaning. Now one thing I have found is, and I'm not sure if this is right or not, but I'm not sure that the stream gets every part of the bottle. So what I'm doing to make it uh, get everywhere is about halfway through the process, uh, tilting the bottles the other direction. Because they don't stand up straight in most cases so I may try and figure out something that uh, helps them to stand up straight and I'm not sure what that might be maybe some sort of a wire or something that goes across next to each of the uh, spouts that sticks up and maybe that'll allow the bottles to sit flat or some sort of an apparatus that the bottles stand on I don't know maybe a rubber band to hug them together so that they're all straight up and down Again, not sure, but anyway, that's my experiments. If you guys have any experiments and you find better stuff, let me know. Uh, one thing I have found is that with the regular OxyClean, I've got some suds in the bottles of some of them, not all of them. I don't understand that, but you see the suds are sticking up past the neck but then I've got one over here which is more straight up and down that there are no suds sticking up past the neck so I wonder if that is a function of uh, the angle of attack if you look 
look, this one here is shooting right at the bottom on the side there. And that one there's not. So that's pretty bizarre what's happening. Now one thing about this row of bottles here is it is the furthest away from the pump inlet. So I don't know, maybe there's some stuff. Now look at this inside one here. That thing's totally filled with suds. Anyway, things I'm going to learn. I imagine I'm going to have to turn this off and rinse these bottles a bunch of times to get all them suds out. And that was less than a half a scoop of the OxyClean. I've turned it off, and now everything's draining. And it does look like uh, the ones that were filled up with suds have all drained out for the most part. There's one there that's still got a few in it. Imagine if I lift it up, it might drip out eventually. Anyway, now I'm going to rinse out the sink with water and run some water through the bottles that's just clear water. It's the next day and I'm going to do an outdoor test. I just want to see what kind of pressure this thing's really pushing out. So I'm going to plug it in and let's see how high it shoots water. Here it goes. All right, that was pretty slick. Went up a good 12 feet or so. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and got some great information out of this video. I know I learned a bunch. Uh, I did have an advantage in that I already had the pump, so it made it a little easier for me. But there are lots of pumps available. Uh, you can adapt it to anything that's submersible. Uh, but uh, I hope it works for you. I plan on using it a lot when I'm not kegging, uh, when I'm making sours or beers that I really want to age for a while. I think this will come in real handy. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate your comments and feedback. Uh, I'll try and put a parts list uh, in the comment section of this. And uh, I hope that you can uh, have as much fun building this as I do. Take care.